Hello and welcome to fourth lesson of Data First Google Ads Optimization course. I created this course because I realized that many merchants, e-com directors, and even ads professionals lack the basic reporting skills in GA4, in Google Analytics 4. And obviously now, as of 1st of July, GA4 is our default version of Google Analytics, so we need to learn how to use it. I created this course because I realized that many merchants, e-com directors, and even industry professionals don't use data enough while optimizing their ads. So GA4 offers us a really good amount of data set, as well as Google Ads custom reports. That's why here we are in this video, we will analyze the landing pages, landing page traffic within GA4 and Google Ads. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, while we are on Google Analytics 4, uh, GA4, we just need to go into engagement and then landing page. I'll just close this. In the previous lessons, I added this filter, but maybe you are watching the video first time, so I'll remove the filter now. The point of the landing page report is obviously, this shows landing page performance. So users who landed in this page and how they behaved, like if they purchased, how is the revenue performance and so on. And obviously landing page, this traffic might be coming from anywhere, organic, paid, paid social or PPC or some campaign of PPC. What we want to do here is again adding a filter. In GA4, we can always use comparison. And then here we just add first user. You could set a specific Google Ads campaign too, but now I just want to make first user source and medium and then choose Google CPC. You can also choose multiple, but now we are doing CPC, so I'll choose CPC. Once I choose that, I'll click hit OK, apply, and then close this comparison. Now it, it created a comparison, which I don't want, so I'll just remove all users. Now what it will show me, Google CPC traffic landing page report, which means I literally paid for these 30,000 clicks, 18,000 clicks, 15,000 clicks, and so on. This is so valuable. And then what happened, right? So in performance max campaigns, we don't see so many reports within Google Ads. That's why this landing page report became very important. I wrote an article about it. Uh, you could just Google PPC landing page and GA4 maybe. And then this will come. Once I send this uh, to our newsletter, uh, I received lots of replies that merchants realized so many losing landing pages or winning landing pages. So this report is pretty useful, pretty uh, strong. There are little more details in this article, so make sure to check this article or even bookmark this article. I update this from time to time with these new metrics. But now let's go back. So I chose the first user source and medium, and then we have the landing page here. And let's check the performance in general, right? What we want to do, we want to check purchases, revenue. That too is enough, also engagement time. Sometimes revenue can be low, but the engagement time can be high. That might show us that these users maybe eventually will convert. Probably you already know your own user behavior and how people decide and so on. Um, so let's go back. And as you can see here, 15,000 clicks, 85 conversions, but 9,000 clicks, one conversion. 2,000 clicks, three conversion. As you can see here, this one seems to be kind of loser, right? So we wouldn't like to keep paying to uh, this landing page. Obviously, this is Google's demo account. Maybe this data doesn't make sense for you, but make sure to check your own and to do your own judgment. This might indicate a couple different issues. Number one could be that your ads of this specific landing page are not set well. Maybe you have the wrong target audience, maybe you have the wrong setup, or maybe the landing page is not good. Maybe this is a collection page with bad products, with not good images, not well done description. It can indicate to so many different issues. So don't make immediate decisions here. Don't call your ads expert and say that, hey, let's stop advertising on that. Check first. Keep calm and check first. Check the data, check the landing page, and then check the campaigns. Now we are doing the first discovery here, right? We are trying to understand which landing pages we are paying a lot, but not getting back. And then we will make more decisions in the next sections of the courses. But of course, it's a very good place to start asking questions. This is our very first landing page report. In the previous video, we did product level performance collection level performance, both in GA4 and Google Ads, and now we will continue with the landing pages. Usually, 
in the real uh, world examples, engagement time and the revenue is kind of correlated. So sometimes you might see some high revenue and low engagement time and vice versa. So this happens. It's not that it does it never happens, but usually there is a correlation. For instance, if you see a page which has kind of a high engagement time but no revenue, maybe you can be more patient with that page. You don't need to kill it. Maybe you just check, maybe your price is not good, maybe there is a problem with the image. But if you see a page, low engagement time, low revenue, check the ads. If the ads are fine, if there is no problem with the ads, then maybe you can consider not paying for that, those clicks, not advertising on that specific landing page. So this decision could come out of this analysis. So this is the landing page report in GA4. So what we did now, we did PPC landing page analysis in GA4. Now we will do the same thing, performance max focus for Google Ads. Within Google Ads, we will create a custom report. Without further ado, let's jump into there. So once you are on your Google Ads account, click reports and then reports again. Here we will create a custom report and we will save it so that you can check it later too. On the left hand side, click custom and then click table. This will be a simple table report, right? On the right hand side, we will choose landing page, click plus. We will choose campaign type, click plus, and then choose row. We will choose costs, we will choose clicks, obviously conversions, maybe conversion value. Okay, this is fine place to start. And let's name it landing page. But also let's write Pmax. I also want to show you, you don't need to do this by the way. You don't need to specifically put a filter. You can just check all your accounts landing page performance at the account level. But I just want to show you this filter because it's pretty useful. We can filter out only performance max campaigns or even a specific performance max campaign. So for now, I will just name this report as landing page Pmax. I'll click apply. And then here on the campaign type, I'll just add a filter. And then here I will choose performance max. Click apply. And now once I apply the filter, this report will only show the landing pages that performance max campaign brought in. I always like to order my clicks high to low or by cost, obviously. That could that would also make sense. And here now we can slowly start analyzing, right? So this campaign cost is 10,000 and then the conversion value is uh, 20,000, like two uh, return on ad spend. And here it is slightly better, as you can see. Return on ad spend, we cannot get it at the landing page level, so we cannot see it here. But what we can see, we can simply either add an, another metric, we could just go into conversions, and then you might remember this metric conversion value divided by cost. Now we see simply. Now I'll just click this table and let's save this report so that we can check it later too. Now you can see here, I mean, we paid four times more to a landing page that has 10 times less, 10 times less return on ad spend. Is this metric enough itself to make a decision? <laughs> Probably yes, but again, just Keep calm, check it more, discuss with your team, discuss with your ads expert if you work with an expert. Maybe there is a reason. Sometimes it makes sense. It's, it's not only we should never make a decision depending on one table, uh, but more often than not, these things tell the truth and either this landing page is the wrong one, we shouldn't be advertising on that. What I would recommend here, for example, probably the high performing ones, there is really good amount of high performing ones we would either make them a separate campaign or we could pause the low performing one. There are too many other techniques what to do with this specific data. These kind of things we will talk more in our next section of the course. Having said that, let's talk a little bit about our course structure. 
Um, we are now in the section one analyze and as you see I am showing you how to analyze. Now we did the landing page analysis within Google X and also within GA4. Do this at the campaign level too. Choose a specific campaign, the campaign that you spend the most. Do the same within GA4 too. So start using these reports, use different time frames. Check this pretty often. We are never done here, you know. This is an ongoing process. And then in the next section, how to optimize the camp campaigns after what we have learned here. Of course, don't wait for me to optimize the campaign. Start optimizing already. Discuss with your ads expert and start pausing the losing assets. Maybe start bidding on more the winning assets, maybe make a, make a specific campaign of the winning assets and so on. Uh, but that's part of our section two of our course is coming on August. If that sounds interesting, if you find this course helpful, just go to Google. By the way, this will be free and free forever. So we never charge for our educational resources. Just Google data first Google ads optimization course. And then obviously our website will come first. Here you will also see the updates. Maybe by the time you are watching this video, we already released the other versions. Maybe we made some updates to the first sections. You know, we cannot update to YouTube videos, but we can update our website. So if you scroll down here, we have the sign up for the course section. Leave your email here if you find this useful. I promise we never spam. We will send you the course updates as well as other useful tips for Shopify merchants or e-com brands who want to run profitable ads. So this is our data first Google Ads optimization course lesson four. We are pretty much done with that now. Last but not least, kindly contribute and communicate with us. We would be really happy if you subscribe to our channel or comment your experiences. Did you find any landing pages, losing landing pages? Maybe you can ask us questions and we try to answer them as much as we can. Contact us on LinkedIn and also visit our hub, content hub, our blog. Uh, we always share useful content here. For example, this one, Analyze, if I, uh, sorry, analyze Performance Max with Google Ads uh, and PPC landing page reports. I posted this pr pretty much like three, four months ago. Uh, and I also sent an e email to our newsletter uh, group. So if you were on our newsletter, you would have already done this maybe four months ago. And maybe we would save you some costs and bring you a better return on ad spend. At the bottom of our page, we have stay ahead with Analyzify newsletter section. So leave your email there and then we will make sure to send you useful tips, actionable tips uh, about your e-commerce stores, digital performance. So thank you so much for watching until now. See you in the next lesson.